What's up, BB Warriors? Welcome to Opinionated Airsofter, the show where we tackle issues and topics that have been plaguing the airsofting community. And I figured that because this is our first episode, we should start out with a bang. And we should talk about the Milsim vs. Speedsoft debate, and why I think that it's honestly a pointless argument. So to start out, I came from more of a Milsim crowd. It's originally what got me into the sport, and it's, it stemmed my love of kit and impressions. So I, I play more of a Milsim-ish playstyle. Now some of the biggest things that I see that the other side says about them is that speed softers are a bunch of cheaters who just like to mag dump people, and that people that play Milsim are just people who like to bully people online for not having good enough kits, and they just would rather take pictures and actually play. Now neither of these can be farther from the truth. Honestly, there are great people on both sides, both Speedsoft and Milsim people, who just want to improve the game for everyone. Now sure, there are always going to be bad apples who want to ruin it for the rest of us, but honestly that does not reflect either community correctly. I mean, yeah, uh, I think most of the hate that I see towards speed softers come from videos like Rest in Peace Kid, but honestly, that's just one guy who woke up and said, I want to be a dick today to someone else. It did not reflect the entire speed softing community, and any videos about bad Milsim players don't affect the entire Milsim community. I think that we just have to realize that one bad apple can ruin the bunch, and that's not reflective of everyone who plays that style. Now, this summer, I decided to go out and play more of a speed softing field, so I decided to go to River City Airsoft in Hamlin, New York. Honestly, it's an immaculate field with fantastic refs. It's always a fun time. And I just wanted to go and get more of a speed soft feel when I played, and I wanted to get their opinion on the matter. Now, talking to a lot of speed softers, I found out that most of them don't mind Milsim players. They think that everyone just likes to play a little bit differently, and I couldn't agree more. Just because you play a game differently than someone else doesn't mean that they're wrong in the way that they play is wrong. Now, I asked them about things like Rest in Peace Kid and things like that, and why they think there's so much hate towards the speed softing community. And they think that people that don't play Speedsoft just think that there's kind of this stigma with Speedsofters that they're all going to cheat and mag dump people. When honestly, with me playing with them, that is really far from the truth. A lot of the Speedsofters that I played with were fantastic people. They were always calling their hits. They, were, they weren't lighting people up. And honestly, I don't get where a lot of these stereotypes came from. Now, talking to the Milsim crowd, I saw a little bit different results. And I'm going to admit that as a more of a Milsim player. I saw a lot of Milsim players just kind of write off speed softers immediately for being cheaters, even when you discussed it with them. They're always saying that, oh, they're the cancer of airsoft, or that they're the people that are ruining airsoft, which is honestly a shame to hear, because honestly, I would like both sides to get along. So what if you play the game a little bit differently? Everyone likes something different. And when I talked to more of the Milsim crowd, I saw that a lot of people had a lot more hate for the speed softing community than the speed softing community had for the airsofting Milsim one. So my, my best suggestion in this whole issue is just try out the other side's gameplay style. If you play Milsim, maybe try going to an indoor field over more of a Speedsoft event, or if you play Speedsoft, I'm not saying you have to go out to an American Milsim or Milsim West game, but maybe go to like a local field's Milsim that's like a day-long game. You never know what you like until you try it. That's the only thing I can say about this. Just give it a shot. That's what I did this summer, and I had a blast playing this summer at River City. I got a ton of gameplay from it, which you can see on my channel. I, I loved playing at River City Airsoft. It was a nice, refreshing breath of fresh air. And I'm the type of person that I can enjoy a day of Airsoft, whether it's constant action, just shooting people, getting a ton of kills, or if it's a day where I spend most of the time just hiking through the woods and kit with my friends, not really just capping objectives, not getting into too many firefights, I can enjoy either one equally. Now, <laughs> I enjoy Speedsoft more as a content creator here on YouTube because I get more gameplay, but I still enjoy playing in games, excuse me, where I don't catch as much action and it's more of just wearing kit, hiking through the woods, having fun with your friends. I enjoy both equally. Now one of the best comparisons I can think of comparing this whole issue to, which is kind of sad, is Republicans and Democrats. Which I know that's what everyone wants to be talking about right now is politics. I know everyone's sick about it, so I'll try to make this section short, but it reminds me of Republicans and Democrats. Both sides think that the other side is the devil and they don't want to listen to any of the ideas that the other side has because we're right and you're wrong. I hate this mentality. It doesn't help anyone. It doesn't help expose anyone to a different type of play style that you might enjoy. It's really just bad for the airsofting community. Unless we can stand together, both speed softers and mill simmers, we're, we're going to go nowhere as a game. Airsoft's going to go nowhere unless we can all agree, hey, yeah, everyone plays the game a little bit differently, so what? So what if you play a little bit more fast-paced like that, you don't want to wear as much kit? Or so what if you want to wear a kit and walk around in the woods and not get into so many engagements? Play the game how you want to play it. Go to the events that you'll like. 
but don't hate on people because they just play the game a little bit differently than you. Considering that there are things like the new New Jersey airsoft law that would ban airsoft in New Jersey, like we talked about in the last video, I will leave a card up here. And honestly, considering things like that, we need to come together now more than ever. If we can unite as both communities and help raise awareness about how airsoft is a fun, safe sport, imagine where airsoft could go if we worked together. It would be fantastic to see both communities coming together and even though we play a little bit differently or we look a little bit different when we play, coming together to make sure that everyone knows that Airsoft is a fun and safe game that everyone can get behind and that we're not going to be harming anyone and we're going to be safe while we play. And honestly, I would love to see both sides just come together and get along. That's all I can ask is that we all at least get along, understand the other side's viewpoint, be like, yeah, you prefer that, that might not be my cup of tea, but if you want to enjoy it, if that's how you want to play, go right ahead. I'm going to do my own thing, you do your own thing, but there's no reason for us to hate each other because we play a little bit differently. Anyways guys, make sure to let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the whole speed soft versus Milson debate. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on it. Like I said, I think it's pointless and all it's doing is hurting Airsoft as a whole, but I would love to hear your guys' opinions on it. If you enjoyed this video you can always subscribe for more airsoft content every tuesday and friday here on the channel make sure to follow me on social media for updates and news about the channel events i'm going to be going to things like that and as always guys this has been the bb warrior and i'll see you guys next time we got a guy in the woods Play it down